you know, I can assure you that no one is going to borrow you any money. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Only if you have a family member and they love, 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 love. Because you're you're a grown love, man now, isn't it? Love, 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 love. I want to shit to put you feel like they love, love, love you. Um, hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Akoni and I'm April. Um, yeah, um, today we'll be talking about, um, you know, setting your priorities right or getting your priorities right when you, uh, uh, move into the UK or move to the UK. Is it moving to or move to the UK? Both, both is correct. Okay, only more pass. <laughs> so, yeah, so, do you want to start? So, priorities when you're moving to the UK. Yeah. I think the first thing first is having having money at hand mm -hmm. before you move. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, me, I was saving up. Mm -hmm. The moment I knew that, oh, I'm traveling at Sosu, so we, we had an idea of the month I was going to move or my mm -hmm. visa was going to connect. Mm -hmm. I started saving mm -hmm. and putting money together because I didn't want to move to the UK and then become liability to our mm -hmm. even though I was moving to join my husband, if that yeah. makes any sense. Mm. So I still had money that I can sustain myself with. Mm. So it'd be wise for you to save up yeah. before moving yeah. so that when you get to the UK, before you have a job, yeah. you can still have, you know, money for running around, buying things, yeah. etc. Yeah. Um, in our own case, we had um, like a six month plan. Yeah. You know, you know six months. You know, being that okay, in the worst case scenario, what if she doesn't get a job in the yeah. next three, four, five, or six months? So, like she said, she saved, um, you know, some money and she, you know, she came with the money, and we had a six-month plan of, you know, of, you know, you know, managing and being able to survive, you know, and for getting a job and, and open and praying that she gets a job within that, you know, that time frame. So yeah, if you're coming, I mean, I think it's one of the. It's one of the prerequisites as well. Like if you have money to, you know, to sustain yourself or, or your family, mm. you know, for at least three months. You know what I'm saying? So that's the number one thing, very important. And for me, I would say that once you get into the UK and you're settled, when I say settled, I'm not talking about, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying, oh no, document wise. Obviously, you'll be here with work permits and all that. Mm. Uh, once you start working and. Once you can now see that, okay, you can say, okay, yeah, I'm a bit settled. Yeah. You know, you need to manage your finances. We've been saying this, you know, we've been saying this based on the mistake that we have made. Mm -hmm. So we don't want other people to make the same mistake. And even we, we're still learning. So managing your finances in the sense that, you know, and I'll be the last person to say, oh, don't help your family members back home because me being in the UK today is, like I always say, it's because of my brother. And yeah. My, and I thank him every day. But, you know, if you've been doing that before you, before leaving Nigeria, you can, but you can, you can, you can't be the same. You can't be the same, and it'll be difficult for you to stop as well. But then you should, you should have an understanding with your family members, be it your dad, be it your mom, whoever you're supporting back mm. home. That you know, I'm going to the new country, and you don't know where you're going to meet there. Yeah. And you know, they should be able to understand. You know, everybody back home. If you're back home and you're watching this video, like. You know, I know a lot of people are traveling these days and a lot of people have been around the world, but if you've never traveled anywhere, I'm telling you, you just you just don't get to you can start picking money on the floor. Yeah. It's not easy. You know, people are even struggling to get a job. So don't think, oh, because my sister and my brother is there now, let me start asking for money. I used to be that guy. Me too. I used to be that guy. I used to draw. I remember I used to draw like you know, a list. I used to have a list. Then at one point I was thinking that oh maybe my brother won't know all these designers. Then I used to draw, you know, the polo by Ralph, the, the Tommy Hill figure when they used to use uh crest. You draw it. No, no, there was nothing like Tommy Hill figure flag then. It was a crest. Like if you if you're if you're an OG like me, you know. So I used to draw everything. Versace, I would draw it like this is what I want. And I'm sure you will probably be laughing that oh, boy you monk don't don't she. So what I'm trying to say is you have to prioritize yourself. Sure you going correct? Yes, yes. You yes. have to prioritize yourself. Even if you are the breadwinner, you're <laughs> yeah. not, like your your people should be able to hold understand. them understand and hold themselves. You have to you, the, you know, because there's a lot of you know you can't even you know, we don't even know like you shouldn't even talk about the uh the route that you came in with or you're coming in through everything involve you spending money yes you know everything nothing, from day one from day one nothing is free in the uk you will spend money 
whether to renew your visa, whether to do this test, English test, or that test, you know, everything is money, nothing is for free. Yeah. So you have to prioritize yourself, you know, and start putting money aside, you know. Start putting money aside and your family members back home should understand that, you know, you're just moving into a new country, you need to settle down. Yeah. And if you are the family member back home watching this, you need to calm the F down. You know, give them breathing space, you know, let them settle down, it's not easy here. So that will take me to my next point. <clears throat> and the point is, if you don't need it, you don't get it. You know? Yeah. If you don't need something, don't say because they're on sale mm. and then you have to buy. Oh, Zara is on sale. You buy 10 shoes mm. where you only need one for work and one for mm. church. Mm. Oh, my friend is living in three bedroom. Then I have to get three when you only need one bed. Like there are lots of things that you need to cut costs on mm. so that you can save. Mm. Because you're not only saving mm. because, oh, I want to save. Your application is going to cost a lot of money mm. when you finish your school and then you want to um get your documents and your papers everything in this country costs money mm. so if you don't need it yeah don't they don't don't even, buy it because most people don't smell it yeah don't i mean i know it's difficult you know when we, when we move to a new country and we want to just show off to the people back home that oh i've arrived like um, what do you mean to one bear? you want to wear a nice dress you want to you know take pictures take whatever i mean if you have the money why not but don't but, do more but, than you should uh, like, yeah. you, need, you need to save money you need you need this money every application takes like the the simplest applications is in thousands of pounds maybe a thousand two thousand now, I used to know all these things and if you guys are interested in all these videos i can i can go back and you know, you know do the research for you guys but i used to know all these things everything costs money so if you don't if you can only live in a shared house live in a shared house so that you can save money and you know you know we have a, if you know, you know yourself you know coming to the uk you know that okay well, i'm coming to stay for a period of time or i'm only coming for a period of time i'll go back i'm coming I will go back in another way. Mm. You know, come at there, I'll sit and buy. But you know why you're here. Yeah. So just focus on yourself. Don't come and buy, you know, because you have the money, don't go and buy 5,000 pounds, 10,000 pounds car just because you want to show off. If you really need the car, maybe for work for anything, you can get like fairly used car, like small car, 700 pounds, yeah. you know, 1,000, 1,002. Yeah. If you really need the car, until you stand where well, we're well, until you're like you know that okay now yeah you know i can i can i can go in and i can come out anytime yeah. i want then yeah. you can do whatever you want but till then and I'll, I'll keep saying it your family members should understand i didn't understand when i was back home you know i said i was writing my list and but my brother is one of those people that you can't force him to do anything <laughs> after offered tiny like because whatever he was doing at that point was even like you know, it was just blessing us you know god was using him to bless us so we're not none of us was even in there even though we got carried away of asking me for this asking me for that but if you check it we don't even have the right to even demand for anything because you know, we're just helping so if you're that you know in that category of oh my brother is there you know like just or my sister is there give them that breathing space yeah. and i'm not one of those people that will be sugarcoating stuff for people just because i want to look good or i want to i want people to think that oh i have this i have that if i don't have it i don't have it yeah instead of you I don't have it because pretending I, that yeah. you have it mm -hmm. and then you go and take credit card yeah and then at the end of the month you're mm. paying you're paying for all your bills you're paying mm. credit card you have no savings yeah. just because you're pretending to be a big girl or a big boy yeah. and mind you this oh. credit card that we're talking about is not like it's there like it's not like you're going to walk into a bank and it's just there on the counter for you to pick you have to have a good credit rating yeah. and everything so nothing is nothing is for free nothing is easy and those banks giving you the cards you know at one point in my life i was only like over fifteen thousand. but you know when she came in i was on my credit card i was only up to like maybe twelve thousand pounds you know that we had to like you know sort out you know within ourselves mm. and i still even as i'm sitting here now <laughs> I know how much I'm holding on my credit card, so I'm like I'm telling you this based on the mistake that mistakes that I've we've made. Yeah. Most of it that I've made, you know, as a person, because like I said in our previous video, like, you know, now you, you know, yeah. I had no, you know, the only support I had, you know, you know when you, you know when you help people to an extent, you 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 want to face your life as well. So you know they have to face their own lives as well. So you know to when. So you have to. That's why these videos are like it's not like it's not just to get views or anything. It's for people to learn to learn from each other. Because I realized that you know when you do things that people want, 
like ah oh, you might not even no it's not no i don't even care anymore it's not about the views like it's about learning from each other what i ever quote or don't watch it you know what i'm saying i ever quote or don't watch it and don't come and be living in one year yeah Mushi nice to know me, but do I am you? Yeah, music. You put it there, you push it there. She multi multi play. Me need that. She let me watch because I just I am you. I am you. You're the da. So so what this video is for is just to like you know what if you come. I've seen a lot of people coming to the UK. Yeah. You know, for masters and everything. You know, you have to set your priorities right. You know what I'm saying? If if no one bedroom in a fit, stay and we'll be able to raise money or save money. Stay there. You know what I'm saying? Don't go and be wearing Gucci belts. I've done that. At the end of the day, you don't have money in your bank account. Mm-hmm. Don't go and be wearing Gucci shoes and all that. And, and the last point, and this is the final point, and this can land you in trouble. You know, don't my lama wa gola go she share. Don't go and be yeah. following other people's. You know, there are some uncles, there are some aunties. They just talk. If you go and be listening to them, they will only mess up your life. Mm. They will mess up your paperwork due to the silly advice they will be giving you because they think they know everything yeah. and they don't know nothing you know you don't even need to speak to anybody right now just just google that shit out and like focus you know, on your life focus on your life you know internet has you know google has got everything right now if you're confused about anything just google it any application just go to the website read the requirement yeah. this is what you need that's what you need don't go and be following all those answers and those and go, ah do this question ah, do that question because by the time you get to court no mercy and you being black from africa ah. times two in the year and we're all for power for power in the year so don't go and be you know it's you know we try to make it funny but this is the harsh the realities so after, let sure, sure. once you come in whether you're coming to you know, what does that mean we, i'll say that like just just be yourself don't go and be okay. overdoing things because people like I've seen people come into the UK and in three days they are in trouble already. Mm. You know because they, you know, you know, going to clubs with their friends and they start misbehaving. Mm. You know, every, here there is law. Yeah. You know, like Nigeria, you would be like, oh, do you know who I am? Or you give police money uh. and they will let you go. Uh. There's law here and there's no. They don't even want to know. Even the judges they don't want to know that. Oh, I didn't know. You can cry me a river. You, you're going to be punished. Yeah. So you know, take your time. Understand the laws. Und- understand. Oh. The, you know, these ask are, questions. Ask questions from the right people. Yeah. Not all those lousy aunties and brothers. And I'm not even sorry to say that because they will only land you in trouble. Yeah. You know, read. You know, Google stuff out. Ask questions. You know, don't go and be. You know, because I remember when I came into the UK and I used to see people drinking beer on the road. I mean, I started drinking beer. I thought it was you know big boy and all that. You know, there was the day I was going to jump on the bus and the bus driver was like, "You have to get rid of the beer." I started arguing. Uh-huh. Got so good. There was a guy there. Nigerian guy on the bus that said, "My brother, just you know, you don't want the you don't want the headache. Just, just you know, just drop the drop the can the, the beer." So I had to, and I've seen people get in trouble because of that. Hmm. So you need to learn, take your time, know the rules and the regulation of the land. You know, know what your know what your rights are. You know? I remember when I always mm. got arrested because I didn't tap. Yeah. I was going from yeah. one location to another. I forgot yeah. to tap. Yeah. Or more, they caught me. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And, by, and people do get arrested for yeah. that. Yeah, so there are lots of rules yeah, that you have so, to. So, you know, you know, you can't learn everything in a day. Of course. Even me, I've been here like going to 14 years now, and I'm still learning. You know what I'm saying? I'm still learning. So every day you learn, but as long as you're willing to learn, do just mark a day here. Just stay grounded. You know, stay grounded. Yeah. You know, go to uni, come back, go to what it you know, go to work, come back, go to church. You know. And if you're if you're going to clubs with a friend and all that, you know, just mind where you're going to, yeah. you know, mind mind your nilaja. Don't go there and be settling fights. Even if you do go to clubs, there's a lot of stabbing going around yeah. now in the UK. You know, if possible, just I'm not gonna say don't go to clubs and all that because because I'm like 40 now, I don't <laughs> want you to enjoy yourself. No, just beware. You know, like you still open your eyes. My one, no. Cause me growing up, my mom always told me like, if you see them fighting, just keep going. And I still have it in me. If I see people arguing and all that, the last time I went out, like there was a lady that didn't want to pay a fare, and she, she jumped the, uh, she jumped the barrier, and you know they were having a back and forth with the, you know, with the security officer. Me, I just passed. If it's me, I'll be filming it. Cause I don't even want to see it. I don't. I'm not even willing to, you know, 
to help anybody with any investigation because if you don't see it there's nothing to talk about mm. so just mind your business even when you do go to club if there's a fight or you can smell the fight carry your bag mm. and go you know what i'm saying just you know just act as if you're still living at home with your parents mm. and like if you get home late they're gonna be mad at you or stuff like that you know just yeah you know because until you know one time we tell our model that it's a quid that be which means you have to be able to you know you have to be in in, in the perfect situation or in in a kind of position whereby you can stand and say oh mm. who killed my dad mm. you know if you're paying is like they're still feeding you and you're asking for who killed your dad <laughs> so and take your applications as if it's your life mm. don't go and be waiting till you because they reject uh-huh. applications as well don't it's be, so easy don't go and be waiting till your last three days that your visa will expire that you start thinking of how am i going to renew mm. these things you take it as if it's your life and i will give you guys one clue and i won't say it in english just stick to that era mm. and i'm saying this now between us and i don't want anybody to go and translate it in under comment section and you go and make another lie they will start you know there's record there's a system yeah. this is not niger and this this thing applies to be it uk everywhere, yeah. everywhere anywhere in the you know in the diaspora that you go same rules applies there's a system so whatever you say you stick to you it stick to it and it must be the truth yeah if you know what i mean it must be the truth and you have to stick to it you know what i'm saying on that g i'm not i'm not teaching you guys to do anything shady i'm just saying there's a system because at times you you know at times you get carried away coming yeah. from where we, you know where we, where we're from yeah thinking there's no system I can say that the taller is my uncle, mm. and tomorrow that is that is Shadia mm. is my uncle too. Mm. Even mm. though they're not even you know related yeah. to you. So there's a system, and everything is recorded. Yeah. They only need your fingerprints, my sister, my brother, and your whole life will come. But along that, it's not wrong now. But along that, she there's book we are in. That's me. Only one finger. So. um yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna say. I talk too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I talk too much. I just I get I get really emotional when it, when it comes to certain stuff. So mm. I get really like so yeah. So just when you come in, just face what you're here for. Have a plan and follow the plan. You know. Yeah. You know, you people that are coming to study, you know what you want to do. Just follow it up. I don't stop asking too many people for advice because everyone will start will confuse you. Will start giving you different. People will confuse you. Yeah. Ah, go so, on the internet. If there's anything yeah. you need clarity on, yeah. go on the internet or speak to people that you know that will like can speak common sense to you. Yeah. Not just asking people yeah. ten people at the same time. Yeah. They will confuse you. Yeah. And one thing I've learned in the UK is even the, the people that you actually thought that are going to help you will, will be the no, one that no, will help you. No, no, at all. Be a, an outsider, someone that you probably just, you know, yeah. met somewhere, you know, always like that. Yeah. You know, you know the closer, God you is know. the only one that will never fail yeah. you. So, you, you know, so, you know, stop talking to too many people because then you get, com- you know, you get, you get confused and you don't know what to do. And most of the fa- time, just follow your instincts. Yes. Me too, I just learned that now. Yeah. The last couple of weeks, you know, Listen to personally, your you know, stuff that I've been dealing with. Mm. Just follow your instinct. You know what I'm saying? That's the Holy Spirit communicating to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right you don't thing. have to go to any pastor. Yeah. At times when you're when you're when you when your instinct is saying, Oh, do this, do that, that's God, yeah. you know, communicating to you like you know deep down, before you make any choices, you know. Yeah. Like there's you know, there's always you know A and B. One is saying do it, one is saying don't do it. But the strongest one is the one you should follow. Me too, I'm just learning that now because I've always been this guy that will talk, you know, before I do anything, I will ask for advice, speak to different people then. At the end of the day, yeah, I will end up doing, you know, the wrong thing. You know, you don't want to keep doing that, you know. So, face what you're here for, have a plan, save your money, your people, your family back home, if you understand, you know, they should, they should do, prioritize yourself, you come first, because not, if they should send you back home now, be they, your own. they'll be the one to say, after five years, kilo, kilo remove, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, I'm not saying you don't help anyone back home. Just, you know, just 
focus on yourself you know yeah. so yeah so we'll see you in our next video thank so, you so much for watching guys if you're new please subscribe and if you've enjoyed today's video please give us a thumbs up to help our algorithm so that youtube can recommend our videos to other people thank you you can you can send an email to aplaugh at me dot com. Hello, <laughs> hello, hello. Bye, guys. See you later. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs>